Welcome to the Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase. We are in Springfield, Massachusetts, celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Day at the Spalding Hoop Hall Classic as 14th-ranked Chaminade out of Missouri takes on 8th-ranked DeMatha out of Maryland. Recruiting Nation is on the air and on the road here in Springfield, Massachusetts, Springfield College, the birthplace of basketball. The set a little empty right now, but over the ne next eight hours, it will fill up with our recruiting analysts as we give you some of the latest recruiting news in the world of basketball. But more importantly, some great high school basketball to get to. Over the next eight hours, we will have four games featuring six nationally ranked teams and 14 nationally ranked players, including the number two overall player, Jason Tatum, who is headed to Duke. He's on the floor behind me now, set to tip it off in a matter of moments. Jason Tatum, one of many players coming to an NBA draft green room near you in the very near future. I've got a pretty good seat here. Mike Cousins has an even better seat. He's courtside calling the action today. Mike. Matt, looking forward to a great day. Jason Tatum, part of that number two recruiting class and part of a huge slate, as you mentioned, of games today. We've got four of them. At 1 Eastern, it's second-ranked Oak Hill Academy. 3 o'clock Eastern, Montford, three-time defending national champ with two of the top three sophomores in America and a great freshman from Canada, R.J. Barrett. And then 5 Eastern, UCLA, Chino Hills, Lonzo Ball, and Kentucky Bam Adebayo from High Point Christian. On the sidelines today, it's Jeff Goodman. Here with Jason Tatum, just set to tip off in a matter of seconds, Jason. You were in this event for the first time last year. What's the biggest difference in your game from a year ago till now? Uh, I just improved in every aspect of my game. Just trying to stay, you know, aggressive and not let the defense off the hook, you know, and just trying to not take plays off every game and just trying to help my win, get a my team get a win, you know, every game. And, you know, that's what's most important. All right, well, thanks a lot. Get over there with your team and good luck. And now we'll send it over to Jill Montgomery, our social media Czar, princess, whatever. I don't know what you want to be called, Jill. <laughs> That's about as close to a princess as I'll ever get. Hi, everybody. I am in our social media hub for the next eight hours. So tweet at me, Jill underscore Montgomery, for a chance to have your question answered by our panels of experts here on TV. Also check out our ESPN Recruiting Nations website for all the behind-the-scenes information for our Hoop Hall Classic. And now we go to Paul Biancardi. Thanks, Jill. We tip it off with two of the nation's best and biggest guards going head to head. Chaminade's Jason Tatum and DeMatha's Markel Fultz. Tatum number two in the country headed to Duke and Fultz part of a two-man class headed to Seattle next year to play for Lorenzo Romar and the Huskies. Fultz number 12 in the country. Let's take a look at this morning's starting lineups, and they're brought to you by ARS. With Tatum, it's Tyler Cook, who will play at Iowa next year with Gladson Lewis and Crawford. And Fultz is joined by DJ Harvey, another top player in the country as well, who is number 12 in the ESPN 60. So it's Chaminade, the Red Devils from the St. Louis area, and DeMatha Catholic, number eight team in the country. Tatum with the opening tip, slaps it back to Lewis. And here we go with the first of four from Springfield, Massachusetts. Chaminade's gonna look to get Jason Tatum some looks early. 22 in the red, knows how to create space. First shot off the mark. And the rebound pulled down by DJ Harvey, a starter at DeMatha for head coach Mike Jones since his freshman year. Quickly into the post. And it's two points for Kristen Deitches. The six foot seven junior for DeMatha. Chaminade testing the perimeter, and that try doesn't go for Mike Lewis, the senior, who signed to play next year at Duquesne. Colts going to work on Lewis. And now backs it out to set the offense for the Stacks. You're going to see DeMath the Catholic run their offense. A passing game, a motion game. Finishes with a random ball screen. One dribble, pull up for Fultz off the back iron. And tipped out of bounds. And four record last year in 1991. DeMath or Grant. And DeMath has a pair of huge guards with Fultz. DJ Harvey, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, on the wings. Takeaway, Fultz 
as it hit to the backboard by Tatum, but the second chance effort from Nate Darling is good. Great awareness by Nate Darling, three in the white. Gonna play at UAB next year. Two minutes in, it's DeMatha with a 4 0 lead. And the first points are on the board for Chaminade. Going to play for Coach McCaffrey next season. Harvey against Cook and a kick to the corner. Three point try is short from Kellen Taylor. There's Tatum on the move, and as his game has progressed, as he talked to Jeff Goodman just minutes ago. He's always had the interior play, the outside part that's growing for him. There collects his own miss and sticks it in with the foul. Again, he's about 80 to 90 percent from the free throw line, Jason Tatum. He scores the ball, Mike, so easy from all three levels. In the high school game, the defense is going to be really loaded to him every possession. And he's not quite Luke Kennard territory at the free throw line, but he'll be close for Blue Devil fans next year. And he's not Luke Kennard from distance, but he's much improved behind the arc. Offensive board, second chance try for Taylor. No. For Tatum, his game is inside the arc and outside the paint. And he feeds ahead to Tyler Cook for Josh Carlton, the junior at 6'9. Just coming in off the bench, as well as Ryan Allen, who's got mid-major offers, number zero in white. And that could be a game-changing foul right there as Tatum, in the span of 60 seconds, picks up personal fouls one and two. Well, Tatum had the right idea, the isolation in the mid-post. He tells his teammate to get out, but that second bump really lowers his shoulder. Defense with a pretty good acting job, but great position by DeMatha. Rolls into the lane, scoops, and comes up empty. The two fouls now for Jason Tatum. And for more on that, let's check in with Jeff Goodman. You know, just before the game, I asked Tatum about that, about if he had been in foul trouble much this season. He said it's been rare only two or three times. He understands how to stay out of foul trouble, high IQ kid, but right now we're gonna have to watch whether he can stay out of foul trouble the rest of this half. Just past the four minute mark of this first quarter. Ellen Taylor has two and DeMatha evens things up with Chaminade at six. Even if Jason Tatum has to give up a basket, he's gotta stay in this first half with two fouls. Heard Jay Billis say yesterday, you know, you can't get back a foul, but you can get back a basket. So you give up a couple of baskets, that's fine, but he cannot get his third early. In transition, Fultz on the pull-up. So what a play. You know, I think he has the IQ and the maturity to play the game without committing that third foul. Let's see if DeMatha is going to go at him to create that foul. Six on the shot clock, Fultz goes short corner, and a beautiful touch to go over the double team. That was a beautiful pull-up jump shot by Markel Fultz. The defense really dropped down. Beautiful pull-up. Pre-game warm-ups, Fultz was out probably taking NBA threes, but putting the high arc on them, and you can see a little bit of that in his pull-up jump right there. Carlton secures it. Fultz quickly up ahead. Harvey for three. And Harvey swoops in from the corner to save it. You see Markel Fultz, number 12 in the senior class with the basketball at the top of the key. Finds his teammates in the corner. Pull up jump shot in transition. Steals on defense. He's a do-it-all guard. As opposed to pulling up or even back dribbling out. Tatum Fultz is really strong fundamentally. Tatum's length helped to get the deflection, and his left hand flushes it through. That's 6'8", 220-ish, Jason Tatum. He finds other ways to score the basketball, Tatum. He'll go to the offensive glass. He'll run out in transition. He's tremendous against the half-court set. Backdoor lob falls to Harvey. You could see it coming. Beautifully done. Tatum wants to have the answer. 15-footer. 
For those that are familiar with DeMathable, it's a team that plays in the WCAC, perhaps the best high school basketball conference in the country. I think so, Mike, with Paul VI. VJ King is there, Bishop O'Connell, coached by Joe Wooten. Gonzaga, Steve Turner. That is the best, in my opinion, pure high school basketball league in the country. VJ King from Paul VI, headed to Louisville next year. Three point try, in and out. Louisville's got a big game coming up on ESPNU Wednesday night against Florida State. The Seminoles just picked up a nice victory. Louisville's had some time off for about six days. Waiting for them at the Yum Center. We watched VJ King yesterday. He was outstanding here at the Hoopal Classic. Both teams combined are 0 for 16 from three-point range. Chaminade has missed seven, and DeMatha has missed nine. When you look at the court, Nate Darling's the best three-point shooter in this game, but DeMatha, he's on the bench right now, number three. This is a game of great drivers, pull-up shooters, and post players. That's part of the reason the Darling got recruited to UAB. There's a nice pull-up from DJ Harvey, number 12 in the ESPN 60, junior class. UAB, where Darling's going, was 243rd in the country in three-pointers made last year. They needed it. Tatum fades away and hits it. That's his shot. You see how he got his shot off? That time he created space in a gentle way. A jab step, hesitation, step back. Tatum Smart has played nearly a quarter and a half with those two fouls. He defends well there and forces the miss by Price. Ten points for Tatum. In transition, steps back and throws to the corner. Another miss three. Jadis White unable to connect. And going down the floor, that's a foul. Mike Lewis didn't like the call. Jim Ferry likes to play a up-tempo game if he can. If you can get the talent, Ferry wants to play fast. Lewis can do it. Saw one of the former Duquesne head coaches here yesterday, Ron Everhart, now a deputy for Bob Huggins at West Virginia. Deputy, lieutenant, <laughs> bodyguard. Ronnie Everhart, longtime head coach, doing a great job at West Virginia with Bob Huggins. Tatum with strength into the lane. He gets the loose ball and flushes it home. Chaminade back in front by one. We talk about Tatum scoring the basketball, and he does it as well as anyone in the country in the half-court set. Doesn't get enough credit for going to the glass. He will rebound. Fultz tried to go to the glass. Tatum has a one-on-two, and he has his shot swatted away. Second chance, no. Third try is turned away, and Tatum with a fourth chance at the bucket. Yes, sir, for the future Blue Devil. And it takes skill, Mike, to knock down that 8 to 12 footer. And he has the skill, the touch, the release. 14 points for Tatum. Reggie Gardner wants three. And that's the first triple of the game for either side. DeMatha with the shot clock off. Has a chance to take the lead at the break. Foltz and Harvey in the backcourt. Fultz with a kick out. Three for Gardner, got it! Didn't have a made three for the entire half, and Gardner gets six points from deep on consecutive possessions. But Mike, he has seven rebounds in this game. He's still active, he's still alert. He's done a nice job. Five of those seven rebounds coming on the offensive glass. Importantly as well for him, he played about 75% of that first half with two fouls. And once he gets into his for DeMatha, you saw Reggie Gardner there hit those two threes. Those are the only three-pointers made in half number one. I expect DJ Harvey to have a good second half for DeMatha. For five in the white. And the minds of these kids love that he stayed at DeMatha and worked it out. And, and Paul, you know that transfer rate these days and kids, and it starts at this level. And it's reached in college where You've got an excess of 700 kids a year transferring out of their programs, but it starts here, and I think a lot of parents give kids the easy way out if they're not playing, but you gotta give Fultz's parents as well a lot of credit for that. Tatum driving and flipping. Uh, 
who aren't in favor of it. Well, the former rule about having a sick family member had been exploited to no end where you could claim a third cousin was sick and you wanted to move home. Yeah, exactly. And the start of that rule was Tyler Smith. Remember the former Tennessee player? See DeMatha now slipping into a little bit of a zone. Just changing the look of their defense. Great hands by Cook on the catch. And they needed a shot quickly with the shot clock. Down to four seconds for Cook. And the foul there. He's on the floor. The foul on Christian Dyches for DeMatha. His third for the big man. You mentioned a shot clock, Mike. Four seconds to go. That made Tyler Cook have to make a move. We need a shot clock in the high school game. We have it in eight states. Tatum! Trying for a sneaky two-point play. Awareness high at all times for the future Blue Devil. Jason Tatum, smart and sneaky. Gets it up to the rim quick. Gets fouled. Yeah, I think you're right. Brandon Ingram, as good as gone, probably a top three pick. Could end up going, you know, two behind Ben Simmons. You know, Tatum's a guy that makes everybody better. He'll be a big three, I think, at the end of the day, which they really need. They don't have that right now. They've got a bunch of, of smaller two guards. Matt Jones forced to play the point. Grayson Allen, Luke Kennard. So you're bringing Tatum, Giles, and really the biggest one is Frank Jackson coming in because right now Duke does not have that point guard. But that, the shots he hits, you just don't see in the high school level like he just made. 22, now for Tatum. Tie game at 30. Frank Jackson out of Lone Peak High School in Utah. Played here earlier this weekend at the Hoop Hall Classic, and we'll see his team coming up early next month as well, Paul, as we hit the road about 30 minutes outside of Salt Lake City. Frank Jackson, great move by Fultz to the basket. Frank Jackson, if you haven't seen Adebayo, watch him later today here at the Hoop Hall Classic for High Point Christian. You just can't stop him inside. And he's a lot more than just power and physically imposing. He has great hands, excellent footwork, and a soft touch. Adobayo is part of that number one class. We'll see him coming up 5 Eastern today. Fultz on the drive against Tatum. His shot swirls out. And long arms turn away Taylor. Three-pointer in the corner, no good. And Tatum leads the break. Down the lane with the right hand. And a finger roll for two. Malik Monk and Bentonville, a pretty lopsided game for Bob Hurley's squad in that win. You know, Kentucky, Kentucky, Mike, struggles to score sometimes this year. That problem is eliminated with this number one class. Coach Cal was front and center under the basket for that 9 a.m. local time tip. It was with Tony Barbie. Step into a three. It's back iron for Fultz. Truck can't clear it. One more try, and the shot goes. DJ Harvey. Baseline drive, Harvey has it turned away. Tatum with a feet ahead, Tyler Cook right to the basket. And a foul, an emphatic swat as well from Kellen Taylor. I think Cook can go both ways. He can certainly score one-on-one -on -one when he's back to the basket. He makes simple, effective moves. He's got great hands, wide shoulders, low base. And he's got a, a face-up game to the mid-range. But he can really influence right away at Iowa in the mid to low post. I think he's going to be terrific on the glass. Tatum goes to the corner. Reggie Crawford got the three. Foul on the floor for the upcoming yeah. USA basketball teams. Jason Tatum played with him under 16 in Uruguay and under 17 in Dubai, where they won gold medals. Don Showalter, BJ Johnson, they do a great job of evaluating the talent that can play for them. You know, it's not about getting the best talent. USA Basketball, it's about getting the right talent. Cook with the rejection, Gladson for Tatum. A hop and a score. And have broken away during the last few minutes. 
By no means is he a knockdown three-point shooter, but Jason Tatum is much improved behind the arc. Well, there is his third foul, but you know what? That story early on of him picking up two fouls in the first four minutes of the game, it faded away so quickly. Because of his mental IQ for the game, okay, his ability to understand he's more important in the game than giving up baskets. Fultz knocks down the first. Hawkeye State native going to suit up in black and gold next year. Fultz double teamed as he gets into the lane out of his pocket pick. Allen comes up with a loose ball, 15 on the shot clock. Into the corner, three-pointer is pure. Reggie Gardner, who had two threes in the first half, makes it a seven-point game. But the drive by Ryan Allen, zero on the white, made it happen. It was a two-point lead earlier in this half for DeMatha. Chaminade won on a 12-0 run. Lewis feeling it from three. Aggression, Brad, aggression! He's going! Ten-point game again. Fultz a driving kick. Same look as the last possession. Around and out for Gardner. Offensive rebound. Allen goes down the base toward the baseline. E.J. Montgomery, 6'9", 220, number three in that class. Will excuse you had you not been tracking the youth basketball scene from Angola. That's where the season comes from. And Tatum scores in the baseline. I'm trying to get ESPN to pay for a flight to go there. <laughs> Fault with a drive and kick to the corner. Ryan Allen for three. The stars, Tatum and Fultz. Just making big time plays down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Crunch time performance. Is that team coming? DeMatha needs pressure. Drilling by seven to the corner. That was outstanding by Charminade. Tatum gets rid of it quick to the top. One more to the corner. That's how you attack a double. Huge crossover for Fultz. And the finish with the right hand. Jason Tatum is a committed Defensive rebound. Crowd wanted a carry. Tatum kept the hand on top of the basketball the whole time. Now 90 seconds left, 15 on the shot clock for Shamanai. It's Helms inside. Oh, it's an offensive foul as he lowered the shoulder. They've relied a lot on the three-point shot, but it has not been their friend in this game. Four of 22 from beyond the arc for DeMatha. See if Fultz can get his way to the basket. He's trapped inside. A three-pointer, Reggie Gardner. No. Offensive rebound, DJ Harvey, number 12 in the junior class. A fresh shot clock, but no time to waste. High off the window and in. All they've got to figure out right now is how to stop Chaminade. Down by three. And quickly, a foul. And find the bottom of the net again. He's gonna go! This ball guarded by Tatum. His spin back into the lane. And a left-handed finish. Now a three-point game. Tatum. And 10-plus rebounds. Bolts kicks to the wing and a baseline drive. Hook is called for the foul. Help Nova Scotia to the Canadian. National Basketball Championship, dropping a cool 50 against Ontario. He'll be one of the best freshman three-point shooters in the nation next year, going to UAB. He's done it on the summer circuit. He's done it on the high school circuit. He's a proven three-point shooter, Nate Darwin. Uh -huh. Net didn't move. And if Sean keeps hitting free throws like He's that, coming. that'll make it impossible for DeMatha to pull out a win what would be a great come-from-behind victory. Three-pointer, Nate Darling! And it's two of two for Tatum. Come on, you don't Reggie, need a three for DeMatha. Try to get a quick two. The three's there, take it. Contact, no foul. Fultz gets two, one-point game. And the Stags need to foul quickly. Cook with the lob inbounds. And the foul comes to Helm. DeMatha, no timeouts. Down to the wire, here it comes. And a substitution for DeMatha. 
Reggie Gardner, the three-point shooter, is back onto the floor. You cannot give up a three, an open three, if you're Chaminade, and nothing at the rim. Make them take a tough two. Markel Fultz has it poked away. Three seconds to play. And a shot to tie. It's good! Going to overtime in game number one. What a way to start the morning. Did you have your coffee? Markel Fultz doesn't panic. Taylor with a couple of dribbles. Into the paint, the floater. At the center circle, ready to go. Tatum won it the first time, and he does it exactly the way he opened the game with a tip back to Mike Lewis. Defense by DeMatha and Jason Tatum has been good. He still finds a way to get 30 points. You can't stop him. You just got to... Tatum has been tough off the jump shot from the mid-range, and Fultz has been nearly impossible to stop off the bounce. That ball was off the foot of Nate Darling. Scooped up. Chavana. Cook! The defense of Mike Lewis. Two in the red. Headed to Duquesne. Got that fast break going. Goal for the pull-up. Unable to answer. Ball knocked back out and a second chance opportunity for DJ Harvey. DJ Harvey, five in the white, 6'7, 210 strong. Reaching foul, a hand got caught in a jersey, and that may have been Harvey there trying to double team Cook. It was. Come on, Red! Let's see if Jason Tatum can stay in front of Fultz. They run Darling off the screen. He's guarded exceptionally well by Lewis. Now Fultz. Chaminade switching screens on the perimeter. Fultz with a quick drop off. And Christian Dijks. He doesn't panic. He knows what he wants to do. Chaminade is back in front by one after Tatum was once again Sterling at the line. To the corner, Gardner, a three! On, on screens of penetration. And you don't give help unless your teammate, teammate needs it. I don't think they needed the help. Lewis into the top of the key, three. Too much with it. Back iron and a save. Lewis wants it from 15 feet. No. DeMatha controls. Stacks by two. Fultz knows he's got the advantage and gets two. 20 points for number 20 for DeMatha. The shot clock is off. Tatum gives a three. He's got it! One point game! Tatum with 38 points. Fultz with 20 after that breakaway lay-in. It's got to be a quick foul if they didn't get the steal. For DeMatha, number eight team in the country, up by two. Jason Tatum makes it a one-point game. 10.4 seconds left here in overtime. Darling back onto the floor, and the native of Canada back to the free throw line. First one falls for Darling, who's signed to play at UAB next year, where he'll bring his great three-point shooting ability to a school that ranked 243 out of 351 at the Division I level in three-pointers made a year ago. And he's off the floor just like that. Marvin Price, out of the nation's number two player. And the defense was geared for him today. So is the offense here. He loses it nearly out of bounds. And it's tapped last by Darling. So 4.6 seconds on the clock for Chaminade. Great play lined up. Thrown it to Cook because they were overplaying Tatum on the sideline. You see that a lot at the end of games. Great play by Frank Bennett. Just bobbled the ball. He would have had a wide open situation for a three. Dustin Moore sits. Josh Carlton is into the game. And Chaminade with a substitution of their own. Aaron Busenich. Somewhat hesitantly coming onto the floor. So, Mike, do you foul right now if you're DeMatha? 
Don't let him get the three-point shot off. 4.6, not a bad idea. As soon as it comes in, foul on the catch. Tatum comes off the double screen high. Three-point game, Tatum for three. In and out! And overtime lives up to its billing in game number one. Tatum scores 40, but Chaminade comes up short. It's a 72-69 win for DeMatha. Huge games on both sides. Tatum hadn't hit a three until overtime was trying for his second of the day. It would have sent us to double overtime. On the other side, Markel Fultz with 20 points, five rebounds, and five assists as well. So coming up next, it'll be our ESPN Recruiting Nation set led by Matt Schick, and then Modern Day and Oak Hill Academy is our next game here at Hoop Hall. A good one in the books. We'll be back in just a little bit. Now let's go over to the set, Matt Schick.